there, and thank you for tuning into this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at importing and exporting markups. So let's create a single view and drag a markup in, close off our sidebars. Now, you can export the markup by selecting the menu in the markup toolbar and copy that to the desktop. Now, what you'll want to do if you're sharing that with someone else is either use AirDrop or right click on it and compress it, so zip it. And that will allow you to email it, WhatsApp it, message it, transfer it however you see fit. Now to bring it back in, we open up a new markup tab and then you drag and drop it onto the new markup and then give it a file name. And it's that simple. Now what's cool about it is that if we make a change, so let's go ahead and just change one word here and let's call this uh, home attacking. So I make one change, I export that to the desktop and if I re-import that into my original file, watch what happens to that button in the upper left corner. So basically it replaces the name. Each button has a unique identifier. So if someone makes a change to the window and you want to bring in their changes, then you can drag and drop it on top and everything will be updated. So it's kind of a clever way of, of allowing you to make edits across multiple computers or people and then merge those edits in without having to do um, too much funny business.